still got some unfinished business. These lazy, lost gods living in limbo on street corners, intelligent hustlers, afraid to dream of better, return their envelopes with a mission still unopened. For schools never told them they had the power to transform this earth's condition, yet teachers are tormented, wondering how the hell do I access these children? Forced to drift and reminisce in amazement about the success of the Black Panther movement, turning extra hustlers to extraordinary human beings, but these ex Malcolm X men are now languishing in London to Toronto. Listening to iPods when supposed to be learning lessons inside classrooms Far cry from the success rate of the Nation of Islam conversions We wasted too much time doing nonsense And parents praying to stop the violence And activists barter for justice And youth workers want these kids to be more receptive So good teachers can teach these kids to do something more than just tell jokes and rapping Maybe replace some of your dancing with some planning, some of the nightclub with some strategizing, some of our religious zealousness with some unified efforts, but our burning question is the quest for our young saviour's salvation. But we've lived so long without these saviours, even the strongest faithful now doubt it. Because our gospel songs are like opium, giving us temporary bliss. Could his modern Goliath swing swords and our stones always miss? For I'd be a new sentence. And more time I just listen to the bleeding stories some of our young people got to live with. These are our kings and queens, no, they're fallen gods and goddesses. I look in their eyes and see if they can picture what I'm picturing. Street girls who can no longer see themselves in colleges. They look to the man they feel is where the money is. Young boys grow up watching this development and they don't want to be single, celeb or even monogamous. I question, where's that ambition in this environment? In high school we said a professional or even president, astronaut, leader, teacher on a continent. Now they look back in anger, with a belly full of pain and laughter. Bigger joke is than our youth workers and youth centers, staring back at our old stealth style younger reflections. Because the system never had no hope in its children, especially when teachers we've been dismissive of our achievements. These kids didn't build no damn pyramids. They can't even keep concentration in our math classes. So young kids grow up internalizing this perspective. So we have to enter into debate and argument about people believe they achieved anything. But you're a gangster, yeah? You're a nigger, yeah? You're a kid killer, yeah? You believe that? Easier to kick kill a human that's black than it is to raise a black human. Natural laws in pandemonium when our spawn children are aliens in a society that's failing them. But our salvation is contained in those same self-styled scary warriors. Those same so-called niggas that begin running when we hunt them down with flyers. For it serves as reminders to the guilty soul of past achievements. Let them know, son, there's much work to be done, son. And when you're finished, we'd still be busy holding rallies. Waiting for your presence in your defiant Malcolm X spirit. Because the one English word Africans never learned to speak. And that was to comprehend the meaning of defeat. Woo!